Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at your energy versus your person's energy and the current situation at hand. This reading is going to help illuminate the energy surrounding you both. It's also going to help offer an in-depth perspective for advice. This may not resonate for each and every one of you, but hopefully there's something here you can take away from this reading. Thank you all for your support. If you would also like to check my friend's channel, the link is down below. And without further ado, let's begin. What is Leo's energy towards this person? All right, so Leo, you are coming across as the temperance. So at this point in your life, you could be exercising moderation, not overextending yourself, not draining yourself, all right? There, there's a healthy balance here, internal balance. You may also be dealing with a Sagittarius. It's a divinely protected relationship. But at this time, Leo, I feel like you and this person are getting along very well. There's a perfect balance here. You both can work together. You both understand each other. This could also be a period of adjustment where you both are adapting. You both are finding the sweet balance where there's understanding of each other's strengths and weaknesses, personalities, or individual path, okay? This card speaks about practicing compassion, understanding, and patience as you manifest your dreams. So you've been very patient. You've been very understanding towards this person. You're not rushing this person or not forcing anything to happen at this point. And also, Leo, I feel like you know there's divine timing for things to unfold. It's a very positive energy. Let's see how your person is coming across at this time, okay? So they're coming across as the Empress. Wow. So you could be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. I feel like your person is in the process of reinventing themselves. Whether this is about their personal life, something about their career, all right, or just overall, I feel like this person is in the process of transformation, but this is for the better. I also feel like with the Empress, this speaks about love. This speaks about passion, growth, expansion. So... There could be a rebirth process here for you both, a process of regeneration, all right? It could be that the recent past here, Leo, something here may have brought this connection to a halt, all right? Something may have felt stuck, but I feel like slowly you both are recovering, all right? The Empress here is an overall um, message of growth, so something is growing, but you both are taking your time. What is the overall connection, overall relationship? We have the devil. All right, so what I'm seeing here, there is definitely strong passion, strong attachment for one another. But you both are coming into an awareness of what to change in order to avoid the relationship heading towards something unhealthy, especially when something is being done a little bit extreme. This could be clinging on to each other. This could also be possessiveness. Um, whatever the case may be, you're bringing awareness to these patterns now. And it definitely takes a lot of courage to be able to do so. The devil can also speak about any sense of entrapment, whether it's a negative mindset, ego, pessimism, codependency, or even some type of addiction. So Leo, take this however resonates, but I feel like you are the balancing energy that's entering in this person's life. You believe in their process of change. Um, if you have seen some red flags, it could be that you're supporting this person, helping them come out of that dark energy towards the light. Please keep in mind that the roles can also be vice versa. You're really seeing this person claim their personal power back and no longer giving in to the devil. Now, another message of this card is, of course, with the devil is to avoid doing anything extreme. That's why temperance is moderation. All right. The Empress is the process of growth, but this card speaks about everything has a perfect timing to unfold, not forcing anything right now, because this can also lead to control, too much control. All right, let's see. What is the challenge that you are facing, Leo, in this relationship? What is the challenge here? We have the Ace of Wands. Wow, so... There's no doubt, okay? You both feel this spark. You both feel this intense attraction for each other. Now with the Empress, 
I'm getting that this might be a shadow side, okay? The devil here represents the shadow, the inner demons, um, self-defeating patterns as well. There's no doubt that this person is very loving, very nurturing, very motherly as well. But we all know that the shadow side of the empress can be somebody smothering. So it could be somebody that's saying, I'm sacrificing a lot here. I'm giving it all. But it's also creating imbalance within this person. Too much sacrifice and expecting that you do the same may also not be very healthy in the long run. You could actually be helping this person sort of reframe their mind or reframe their approach in relationship. You could be telling them, um, don't overextend yourself, all right? Let's trust in our ability to help each other out and meet each other halfway, all right? You're trying to really um, advise this person or just give them counsel. I'm, I'm really getting that very strongly. You also are bringing to their awareness here, Leo, what are harmful energies that they should detach themselves from? And Ace of Wands, there's going to be an awakening of the real passion, the awakening of the... Um, I also feel like this is something new, letting go of old patterns that were no longer serving you both. And the Ace of Wands, kind of like the Phoenix, all right? Something is being released, something is being purged, and now somebody is finally rising above the ashes like a Phoenix, a rebirth process most definitely. And the Empress is all about creation by releasing the destruction, all right, with the devil. And this is all within oneself, right? The purging here. You are witnessing somebody purge, all right? Something that's no longer serving them and serving this connection. Now, the devil can also be an attachment of some sort. So this person, if, if some of you are dealing with somebody new, with Ace of Wands... You could be biding your time and just really observing this person right now because you feel like they haven't fully released their attachment from their past, whatever the case may be, okay? And you could be just wanting to know what this person's intentions are, all right? If they're really wanting to invest on this new beginning with you, you want to make sure that they're fully all in in this relationship. Let's see, what is the advice for you at this time, Leo? What is Divine's advice for you? And also, we're going to be looking at the potential outcome if you guys choose to take the advice, okay? So, Spirit's advice for you is the Strength card, of course. This is you. Some of you may also be dealing with a Capricorn or another Leo. But the Strength card is saying to trust in you and your person's ability to evolve and heal and learn. See, the Lemnus gate over here, the infinity sign, is an indication, is a symbol that your consciousness is constantly expanding and growing. Another message of the strength card is, of course, to not force things to happen. Um, this is all about awareness as well of one's impulses, one's tendency. So, in a way, with the strength card, you both are growing in strength. Your relationship is getting stronger because of what you're going through, what you've been through. Another message of this card can also be um, being compassionate towards your person, not judging them for what they're dealing with, but really seeing both sides of the situation. The temperance card, this card also speaks about balance. It's realizing here that there could be something that your person is struggling and it's not your job to judge that individual but to see see what is beyond the surface here trying to understand what could be causing this what could be their motivation what they're really dealing with being the bigger person with the strength card all right and it's like putting your shoes in this person's shoes if that makes sense Let's see. If also a situation is seemingly stuck at this time, devil and the empress, just know that your person is still unfolding here or your love story is still unfolding. So be very patient. If you feel like this person is worth it, Leo, you most definitely are the patient type. I see that very strongly. Um, it's definitely going to test your faith in this person. Okay, that could be something very difficult to give these days, but I feel you, you really sense a very strong spiritual connection that exists here. You met this person for a reason. You're helping them heal and grow. 
and change as well. Like you are a great influence in this person's life or vice versa, okay? So the final outcome, if you choose to take the advice, we have the Three of Cups. Wow, so there's going to be a deepening of the bond. Very spiritual connection is what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing that your person is finally opening up, releasing the attachment from the devil. The Three of Cups speaks about them being open to create memories with you. There's also a sense of celebration and victory from overcoming um, whatever this shadow was that, that really had control over them. I feel like there's a sense of liberation here. Finally freeing themselves, freeing you both from what you've been through. A bond is about to strengthen and deepen. All right. And it definitely has potential for something long term. The Three of Cups can also speak about heartfelt communication, speaking from the heart. All right. You're about to really open up to this person or this person is about to open up their real feelings. If there was any hesitation, restriction or control. It could be that this empress has been holding themselves back because they're still tied to whatever this was in the past. Or this could also be pessimism, um, refusal to let love in. But I feel like this is going to be a process, a transformative process here with the Three of Cups. So that's what I'm seeing for your reading, Leo. Please take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't. Thank you for watching till the end. I'm sending you all love and light and namaste.